Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great Class A motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. Today we're looking at a 2007 National Surfside model number 34E. This is an ultra rare floor plan, and I'll show you that here in a minute. But this is a 34 foot Class A motorhome with two slide outs, built on a Ford uh, F53 chassis. Only has 49,000 miles. Got that big 6.8 liter Triton V10. Uh, with 305 horsepower, 420 pound-feet of torque. Really a nice motorhome, great family floor plan. It's got a full heated basement. It's got the uh, the five-speed Shiftronic or torque shift transmission, which is Ford's version of an Allison. Really, really durable chassis and drivetrain. And it's a national RV, so you know it's well-built. Notice it's even got the uh, different design in the mirrors. This way you can walk under it without hitting your head. Uh, awnings great shape. It's got the hydraulic leveling jacks, two roof airs, power steps, backup camera. Look at the overall condition of it. There's no delamination. It's got the full fiberglass roof. Now the corners aren't beat up like you see a lot of. Them. You know, 34 foot in a Class A is relatively a small size, especially for two slides. I've got the motor running. It's got a 5,500 watt own and generator. So instead of a four or 5,000, they put a 5,500 watt generator. So you got plenty of power to pull everything in here, including theirs. Both slide outs have awning toppers, both in great shape. I mean, if you look at it for an 07, the stripes are not peeling, they're not faded. Really high quality, good thick fiberglass. You know, National RV is uh, when you bought a new National, you paid quite a bit more for a national than he did most of the other brands. In fact, they are the fourth largest RV manufacturer in the world, so it's a great brand. Uh, they started, I believe, back in the late 60s, early 70s, maybe. Been making great products. Uh, notice how the fiberglass cap overlaps around the front. You got the overlapping fiberglass roof. This eliminates straight edges, and that's very important when you buy an RV because straight edges are where most leak problems occur, and it costs the RV manufacturers more to build them like this, but like I said, when you spend the extra money to buy a National over the other brands, new in 2007, you got what you paid for. And that's why anytime you buy a used RV, you always want to buy a well-built, high-quality brand. That's when you go to our website, you go on our lot, you're going to notice we don't have a bunch of cheap motorhomes like other dealers do, or I call them fillers. I mean, everything you see, especially our Class A's, you're going to see National RV. You're going to see Allegro, Winnebago, Atasca. You're going to see uh, Fleetwood. You're going to see brands that have stood the test of time that are considered to be the highest-quality brands. You're going to see Newmar. Holiday Rambler, Monaco. You're not going to see a lot of cheap brands. In fact, you're not going to see any really cheap built brands because we won't buy them. Uh, you're not going to see Four Winds. You're not going to see a Dutchman's. Not in the motorhomes anyway. You're not going to see these Coachman's and stuff like that because they're just not that well built, folks. They don't hold up. And you have to realize we get these. We don't get these motorhomes when they're new. We get them when they're eight, nine, ten, or twelve years old. And the reason why you only see the better brands here is because, quite honestly, those cheaper brands are falling to pieces by the time they get eight or ten years old. So, you know, we want to sell you something that you we, that you can use for several years, trade back in, and we can sell it again. So that's why you're only going to notice the better, higher quality brands that we have for sale. You're not going to see cheap, put-together base models. Folks, we're inside this Surfside. 34 foot, two slides, and you may wonder why I've got the air conditioner going on the day after Thanksgiving. But folks, it's 70 degrees here in, the, in Georgia, and I'm going to tell you, that's, uh, that's fall time in the south. 30 degrees one day, 70 degrees the next. So I've got the air going. It's ice cold. Really nice interior. There's no smoke, no pad odors. Notice the backup camera works. I've got the dash air on. It's blowing cold. And you know, most 07 models, people... Because nobody ever uses a dash air, and nobody, and so nobody keeps them up, and they uh, they develop leaks in the O-rings, and the Freon leaks out. That's why you see so many Class A motorhomes 
that the dash air doesn't work but this one does so somebody's actually kept that dash air up and that's normally a good sign that means they've kept the RV up as well of course I know many of you who have had RVs know dash air is kind of pointless it's like sticking a single ice cube in a 400 degree oven and expect that single ice cube to cool that oven down but it does have the dash air which you know if you're just driving it up the road for a minute you just don't want to cool off the driver it's good for that but it's not going to do anything of course for anybody beside the driver the glass is perfect the dash is perfect there's no uh, cracks uh, no busted places in the dash it's got a brand new HD TV we just installed it's got the carpeted headliner good solid roof it's got the hydraulic leveling jacks tilt cruise um, you know it's got everything you need up here nothing you don't comfortable captain shares that swivel for party seating carpet looks good it's got a little slide out tray for the passenger some overhead storage got a great sound and radio that can run off park the uh, off your house battery or your engine battery really neat floor plan folks you remember what I said it's different I mean you get online you look at you look up a 2007 Surfside 34e this is the only one you're going to see on there these are very very rare I found some from 05 and some from 09 but the reason why these are so rare is that they're actually a two bedroom class A this is actually has two complete separate bedrooms one with bunks and the master in the back so you can really sleep a lot of people. This has got the sleeping capacity of a Class C, but you've got the convenience, the bigger tank capacity, the more storage, and the more room of a Class A, but you can still sleep eight people. Table booth makes a bed. Sofa makes a bed. So you can actually put two adults in here, or, four, or two adults and two kids in case you've got two families going. Uh, you've got a side kitchen. You've got the Dometic two-way RV refrigerator freezer I'm going to show you that works perfectly uh, of course you've got the stove top and oven microwave big residential style double basin sink these are all solid wood cabinets you know this thing new was right about a hundred and five to hundred ten thousand dollars in 2007 and for a gas burner this was kind of up there at the upper end so I mean there's actually manufacturers that were selling diesel motorhomes for for less than you could buy this gas burner for so you know this is going to be a pretty heavy built pretty quality good quality unit uh i mean you can i'll show you the roof air works which i know you're not really worried about that since it's coming into uh winter but you know springtime will be here summer will be here you're going to need it and it's blowing 20 in the 20s sitting here in the middle of a parking lot with no shade so i don't think you're going to have a problem cooling this rv off I like the way the hallway kind of goes over to the side, gives you a little bit of privacy in the bedroom. And look here, folks, you've got one, two, three rooms back here. And this is really cool. I like this. Um, we're going to open this one up. And here's your bathroom. Uh, you've got a nice stand up shower, it's got a skylight. Uh, notice around the skylight there's no water stains anything like that it's got the plastic surround showers you don't have to worry about getting your walls wet it's got the sliding glass door nice little vanity area uh, toilet now somebody's added a couple shelves right there which we can take them off if you don't want them but I'm gonna leave them up for now good storage in this one uh, plenty of lighting has got a vent fan in here and it's all enclosed so this is neat because if you're in the restroom you're not blocking access to any part of the RV and especially if you've got kids that's a necessity but open this door right here behind door number two we've got the kids room you've got two bunks you've got a little TV up top it's got a built-in DVD player right there underneath the closet um, these are brand new mattresses I just had put in they were uh, the old ones were missing so obviously somebody used this for storage instead of a kids room they took the mattresses out but I went ahead and put two brand new custom fit mattresses never been slept on and you've got windows you've got a TV in here you've got storage a little hanging closet plenty of lights and of course duct work in here for heat and air and you all and it closes off and then behind door number three is the main master bedroom. Open this up. 
And I'm going to tell you folks, for a 34 foot motorhome, this thing feels a lot bigger inside than it really is. But inside here, you've got a Queen Island bed, uh, original factory bedding, looks like new. Look how thick that rear wall is. That's how well insulated this RV is. So, you know, if, if you live up north, you're wanting to use this for wintertime camping. This is an excellent model for that. It's well insulated. It's built heavy, so it's going to be something you can enjoy during the winter time without freezing to death. Uh, Queen Island bed. At the foot of the bed here, you've got plenty of storage. You've got another HD TV. Uh, hanging closet. There's storage underneath the bed, and this bed's in a slide out, so you get a lot of room in here. And this is all enclosed in its own room. And you've got a residential style door to completely cut it off. So the adults have their own room, the kids have their own room, and you've got a middle bathroom and middle lounge area for the daytime. So I'm going to tell you folks, this is pretty much the ultimate family class A. Not something you see very often is a class A with bunks. It's one out of a hundred, if even that. Uh, folks, this unit's in great shape. It's got 49,000 miles, which... It's a 150,000, 200,000 uh, mile motor home, so you're never going to wear it out. Generator runs great. It's got low hours, 5,500 watt on and jacks, two slides. Price way, way under NADA. Folks, I'm only asking 44 9 and you're not going to find another one like it on the internet, especially for that price with this kind of mileage. Uh, NADA, I'm asking 44 9 That's out the door, no fees, none of that junk. Uh, just a base model, adjusting for the mileage, 45000 Now, you uh, add for the inverter, stuff like that that it has. It's not standard. NADA, $51,000. So, basically, I'm six, $7,000 under NADA, and that's how I sell most of my RVs, folks. You know, we're, we've are we been in business for almost 47, actually going on 48 years now, since it's almost the New Year's. 48 years in business. We sell over 500 used RVs a year. We sell them all over the country, all over Canada. We've shipped them overseas to Australia, England, Italy, the Netherlands. And I'm going to tell you folks, these buyers didn't come thousands of miles in some cases to buy RVs from us because they like us. They came to us because we saved them money. We have the lowest prices on the internet on quality used RVs. And I, you can quote me on that, you can look it up yourself, you can get on my website, just pick any random make or model motorhome and Google that make and model motorhome and you're gonna see ours is the lowest price out there. And folks, this is the way we've done it for almost half a century. We don't have extra fees. We have no dealer interest rate markup on financing and I, I'm gonna tell you how much that saves you just by itself. We don't have commissioned salespeople, so that saves you thousands of dollars. Uh, folks, we don't just save you money on the price. We save you money on everything. You know, these other dealers you go to and spend fifty-five, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 for this same motorhome, they're going to charge you fees to get it ready. They're going to charge you processing fees. They're going to charge you a dock fee. They're going to charge you tag and title fee. Uh, they're even going to charge you for the drive-out tag. And... By the time you pay all those extra fees, you're paying an extra two to $3,000 for the motorhome. All those fees are 100% dealer profit. The only thing by law you're required to pay is the sales price, of course, and if you live in the same state that you're buying from. In other words, if since we're a Georgia dealer, if you live in Georgia, you're going to pay sales tax. That's the only two things you're required to pay by law. If that dealer is trying to charge you anything else but those two charges, the sales price and the applicable sales tax, they're ripping you off. Because everything over that is 100% dealer profit, completely unnecessary to purchase a used or new RV. Folks, we don't have commissioned salespeople. And you may remember me saying just a minute ago, that saves you thousands. And I'll tell you why. You see, these RV dealers, they, they don't want to pay their salespeople every week, regardless if they sell anything or not. So what they do, and this allows them to keep a large sales staff, is they only pay them commission when they sell something. They don't pay them salary. They don't pay them by the week. They pay them 25% of the gross profit. So that means that dealer has to have a 25% higher markup than they already did to cover their salesperson's commission simply because they don't want to pay them when they're not producing. That costs you thousands of dollars in higher prices. That also makes it a very unpleasant buying experience, just like anything else you buy that has commissioned salespeople. 
The worst thing a commission salesperson wants to hear is that you just want to look. Uh, that you're not wanting to buy for a few weeks, a few months, or even a few years. Because they know if they don't see you that day, chances are you're not going to buy one from them. And they've just missed out on a thousands of dollars in commissions. And folks, it really makes the pressure come on. That's why you can't just go to any car. You can't go to just any used RV lot and pull up and next to the RV you want to look at, get out and look at it with the price on the windshield and, and all the information inside. Because they don't want you to just come on the lot and start looking. That's why all these RV lots you go to, they have a prison yard where they keep their RVs in where everything's locked up in a fence. The only person who has a key to the gate is the RV salespeople, and you have to go through a sales office just to go out there and look at RVs. This way they can control you, they can bring on the pressure, they can turn you over from one salesperson to another, to another. they can bring their closer in, their sales manager, and try to talk you into buying that day. It's really a rip-off, folks. And the reason why is because you may be the only person that RV salesperson talks to for a week. And if they don't sell you, they don't get paid. It's as simple as that. So they're going to do everything they can to sell you an RV. And if you're looking at one they have on sale or one they don't have much markup in, they're going to try to drift you away from that RV and sell you one that has a higher markup so they can make a bigger commission check. They're not going to want to negotiate with you because every dollar they come off of, it's a quarter less in their pocket. And when it comes to trade-ins, they actually get paid commission on how far under market value that they can get you to take for your trade-in. So in other words, if they trade, for, if they talk you into trading your RV in, that's and it's $5,000 under market value, they get 25% of that, just like when they sell the RV. So makes it very hard to deal with a commission salesperson but at Parkway RV Center since we have the lowest prices on the internet on quality used RVs you don't have to deal with a commission salespeople because I don't have to pay people to sell them I have five salespeople here they're all on salary they get paid exactly the same every single week it doesn't matter what you buy it doesn't even matter what you pay for it it doesn't matter if you buy it from us or from another dealer. It doesn't matter to them. They get paid the same. This way, they're here for your benefit instead of their own. Because, you know, they're they're going to do everything they can to make you happy. But it doesn't at the end, it doesn't matter if you buy one or not because they get paid salary. This is the way we've done it for almost half a century. Our, our buyers and customers love it because they don't have any sales pressure that way. Because it doesn't matter to the salesperson whether you buy it or don't buy it. And plus, that saves you an extra 25% markup to cover a salesperson's commission that you have to pay to other places. We also don't have finance managers or F&I managers. You know, you never want to buy from a dealership that has commission salespeople and a finance or F&I manager is what they call them sometimes. Because just like a commission salesperson, a F&I manager doesn't get paid by the hour. They don't get paid salary. They get paid on how much they can mark the interest rate up on financing and get you to sign in. They get paid a big percentage of that. So, and you may wonder how they do that. It's simple, folks. And I'm just going to throw out numbers for an example. Uh, we've got a credit union right now doing 2.5% with approved credit on a 60-month loan. Well, the other RV dealers can do that too. But have you ever noticed when you call and talk to the RV salespeople at other dealerships, they never want to give you an exact figure on interest rate. They'll always just tell you it's in the single digits or... They'll tell you it's between 4 and 15%. And, and the reason why they do that is because if they give you an exact interest rate, the finance manager can't mark it up to make any money. And they can't make any money. And the dealership doesn't make any money. So what they do is they'll get you approved 2.5%. But since you never was told an interest rate, you have no idea what to expect. So they're going to come in there, Mr. Customer, congratulations, I got you approved. Here's your loan contract, sign here, here, and here, your interest rate six and a half percent. You're thinking, that's not too bad for a short-term loan, so you sign the papers, well guess what? That dealership just made thousands of dollars off of you, and you're paying thousands of dollars in higher RV payments over the life of an RV loan than you would have paid if you'd come to Parkway RV Center. Our finance program is so simple. 60 months, two and a half percent with approved credit, uh, that's the where they start at and if you want long terms we can get you up to 180 months interest rates going to be four to five percent depending on credit of course and all financings with approved credit 
you know, we're not afraid to throw out interest rates out there, and we're not afraid to throw out prices simply because we don't make interest rate money on financing. We don't believe in exploiting our customers because they want to finance RVs like other RV dealerships do. Financing is strictly offered as a courtesy to our buyers. We're more than happy to go through your bank or credit union. Most dealerships don't want to do that because when a customer has their own financing, the F&I manager can't mark the interest rate up to make money for himself. So uh, we're more than happy to work with your own bank or credit union or you can go through one of our lenders. It doesn't matter to us, folks. Any way we can help you out, we will. And even if you're a cash buyer, that 2.5% interest rate on 60 months is very, very attractive to the fact that probably a good half to three quarters of my cash buyers wind up financing to get that 2.5% rate to save to save their money. I mean, it takes a long time to build up $45,000. And, you know, I, I don't know about you, but if I can just spend a few hundred dollars on interest rate and get 2.5% interest, save my money, you bet that's what I'm going to do. But either way you want to go, we'll be more than glad to help you. My non-commissioned salespeople will help you out with trade-ins. They'll help you out with financing. We offer nationwide delivery because we sell in all 50 states, folks. We've actually sold multiple sales to Alaska and Hawaii. Uh, we've sent thousands of RVs all over Canada. So safe to say, if you want this RV delivered a few hundred or a few thousand miles away, we're more than happy to do it. And we just charge you whatever it costs us to bring it to you and get my driver back home that's it folks we make no profit on delivery the lowest price is great delivery options if you want to fly in we'll pick you up for free at the chattanooga tennessee airport uh no extra fees no dealer rate no dealer interest rate market not just are we saving you thousands on the price but when you take in the whole package the money you save on financing the fees you save i mean we're saving you ten fifteen thousand dollars and that's why we sell fifteen uh, 20 percent of our inventory every week and that's why we sell over 500 rvs a year because of our prices family owned and operated since 1968 give us a call our phone number is 706-965-7929 evenings and sundays you can get sales help at 423-605-6747 and of course folks all i ask is that that after hour sales number please only call that after six o'clock eastern time and on sundays because he doesn't have his phone on during the day and you can't get him. But in the evenings, he does have his phone on. So call, you know, up to about 10, 30, 11 o'clock. He'll be more than happy to answer your questions. And you can also email us at sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. And always our website's parkwayrvcenter.com. Folks, I've had hundreds of thousands of views on my website. Um, uh, you can get on there and look. You're going to see something different every single day because we get in three or four RVs a day, and I usually add one to two videos a day. So you're never going to see, you're never going to get on there and see the same RVs twice. You're always going to see something new. But keep in mind, we sell three or four RVs a day, so our inventory changes every 60 to 90 days. So if you see something you like, please call us right away because something like this too especially somebody's just going to call leave a deposit it's going to be on ebay rv trader and a bunch of other websites it's going to be seen all over the world and all somebody's got to do is click the buy it now like what happens with most of them and it's gone so if you're interested in this rv and you call and you're lucky enough that it hasn't sold yet i would strongly consider leaving a deposit you can talk to the salesperson about that because bunkhouse a classes especially a 34 foot are very very hard to find and sell about as quick as i can post them online so don't let this one get away if you're in the market for one way under book it's in extremely nice condition we're going to show you everything works thank you for watching my video uh you know as always you can email me directly at bow at parkwayrvcenter.com i'm not in sales so if you want to buy something please contact my salespeople. but if you just have general questions about a brand or if just the RV lifestyle or gas versus diesel, fifth wheels, travel trailers. Folks, I've been doing this over 20 years. I've owned more RVs than I can count, all different types. I've, I've got over 100,000 miles logged delivering RVs all over the United States all times of the year. Rest assured, I've, I've worked on these things since I was a teenager. I, I mean, I'm not trying to pat myself on the back, but I actually have RV techs ask me how to fix something certified rv techs not here but on, from other rv dealerships that actually email me and ask me questions because i've pretty much done everything you can do to an rv myself with my own two hands so 
I'm very familiar with them, the brands. I've took factory tours. And what I'm getting at is if you just want somebody to talk to that, that knows RVs, that's experienced with them, that's not going to try to sell you something, that's going to give you an honest answer, an honest, well-informed answer to an honest question, email me directly. Don't call me, please, because I've never around a phone, and, and I'm so busy during the day, I really can't take phone calls. But you can email me, Bo at ParkwayRVCenter.com, and I will answer the i like to answer the emails in the evening when i'm at home and uh, can you know pretty much tell you anything you want to know and uh, if i don't if at the very rare occasion i don't know what you're asking i will find out for you so give me a call 706-965-7929 ask for sales 423-605-6747 or after hour sales number sales inquiries you can email sales at parkwayrvcenter.com and just if you got questions, comments, suggestions on my videos, you can email me directly, bo, B-O, at parkwayrvcenter.com. Thank you for watching my video, and hope to see you soon here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.